No project is complete without interior renders, but that may take just as long as modeling. Hi guys, I'm Brandon with I Am The Studio. Today we'll be rendering an interior design for a bedroom in Revit. This tutorial part three will cover everything you need to render your final project using Autodesk Cloud Render. Though you should feel free to use the renderer of your choice. I like Cloud Render as it gives you free medium renders with Revit Lite, a good budget to the friendly them version. This is a three part series, so check the description for the other versions of this uh, tutorial, other parts. Uh, if you're new to the I Am The Studio channel, consider subscribing for great tutorials every week in the latest of architecture software. Uh, one thing generally in the 3D that we probably want to do, um, just go to a good 3D view, uh, we'll just come to the main one. Uh, we look at the realisticness of the model and we see that we don't have any grass. I've also gone to Texture Club to, to get a proper grass as well. So I'm going to go to uh, my uh, material and this is going to be the main material. Uh, the, gra the brown areas are the main material. And we'll look at site. Oh, we have a site asphalt, so I'm going to duplicate that. I'm just do site grass. Come in here and duplicate again. And this is going to be site grass. And just do site grass. Maybe site grass. And Ooh, we'll just go back to my support folder location. Um, and choose my green texture. Now this also has a little bit of a roughness, which is also nice. Um, I'll just select that as well. And this actually has a relief pattern, um, which would probably be like a black and white. And so I'm like double click that. I could always just save this one um, in a black and white version. That's just a, a quick way to do that. Um, and I'll just call this relief or bump. And some renderers will have a unique plugin for, for grass, but this will be fine for what I'm working on. And click OK. And um, yeah, so now you see the grass in here. The grass is definitely probably too too big, so you might even click here and double click to see uh, what is the size parameters this has. And let's say go down, I see it's 20 feet, so it's more like four feet. Let's see here. And so now um, the last thing we want to work on for sure is having a good material for that floor. It's currently the floor is a little bit of similar to the everywhere and we probably want to have that a little bit different so this is wood flooring we probably want to have it more of a um, different type of wood so i'm going to go in here to materials and uh, we want to choose it more of a dark parquet i'm going to say wood parquet it's going to be actually a little darker wood. And I'm going to take off the stain or leave the stain off for that sort of natural material. But we're going to duplicate this for our parquets. And we'll just say dark wood. I'm going to just come in here and uh, change that to our support folder file, which is dark parquet. I took off the stain. I do want to make sure it's the right size. 10 inches is not right. So maybe I'm doing uh, three feet. See so done, press OK. I'll just take a look at that. This probably be what I, one I would use interior wise, but generally in my bedroom render it's starting to look nice. So um, I think we're ready to render. Before we do our render, we definitely want to make sure to turn our shadows on. As I turn the shadows on in this model, you see I don't really have like any sort of natural light piercing through, uh, which might be nice. So I'm going to click on rendering settings, and I'm going to go 
and it says the scheme is exterior sun only, but I actually want to do this more of an interior sun and artificial. I'm going to click OK here, but you know, it doesn't make any effect yet. So I'm going to go to, to render again, and I'm going to go to uh, artificial lights um, uh, just to see what sort of things are going on. So that shows me all my artificial lights and their settings. And I think those are fine right now. Uh, I'm going to go to sun settings. And I'm going to click apply so I can see this, make sure that it's uh, visible. So this is more, I'm, I'm wanting to see light coming in from the back um, towards the water. Um, I can change that a little bit. It's, it's definitely a big overhang, so it's definitely not going to be easy to get light from this direction. Um, unless it's at a very uh, low angle. Um, and um, what we want to do is let's try a little bit something like this. So I just lowered the sun to come in. And we'll see how that will pan out. We have a couple different options. If you go into your uh, your visual style, um, this is also more of the rendering style. You have running options. Um, you can adjust the exposure. Right now, it's definitely pretty dark. I'm really concerned about how it's going to look from the from the renderer. I'm going to go to the graph display options, and in here, I will lighten the sun, and increase ambient light. But that's not exactly the render version. The render version happens when you click render in cloud, it tells you the process. Um, that you can choose to be notified by email, but you also will go to your browser and you can see the project as it's getting rendered. So I'm clicking this, it's just a regular still image, and standard quality is fine. Um, I think we've already chosen the exposure. Now, all we need is just to Start the rendering, uh, you'll get the link so you can actually see that. So we'll go to that next. We have a little bit of issue with one of the templates, um, but it should be fine. You should be able to get a, a rendering for your projects when you go to Autodesk rendering. Um, then, you know, there's a click you know, for an um, email to be sent to you. Um, that's the best way to find this location as I just clicked on my email link. Um, but it, it sends you uh, either way or you know you could navigate the Autodesk website for this. Uh, but pretty much the interface is it shows the renderings that you have. I have a few renderings for the project. And as I as I look, um, you know, there's a gallery to see other people's community where you can share yours and other resources. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just go into the project and take a look at the rendering that we've just worked on. Um, and it's starting to look pretty nice. Um, definitely brightness on the sun. The sun only comes up through on one side. It'd be nice to have it come through a little bit on this wall as well because it's a little bit blank. Can't really see the feature too much. Um, might even for that purpose go darker. Um, we're not really even seeing the, the lighting in my soffit, so I'm going to be fixing a, a little bit on that element. But for right now, I think uh, you see it's pretty simple to get that render uh, done. And we're going to go and do some changes and updates. But for right now, I think that's, that, that's very nice sort of getting the idea out and our objects are working and the detailing is like coming out nicely. In repairing our render, um, just finding some areas that are problematic. We first want to look at the light. So again, this is with the uh, imported model sometimes. Uh, you'll find um, issues. Uh, in the manufacturer site, you can typically find better ones. But for this one, uh, we actually will double click inside. And this is a good you know, analysis into how to you know, make sure you're getting good models. Uh, apparently, like the lower uh, part of this light is, is really just um, not working out. 
Um, and, and if we go into the view, we'll see that um, we look at different types of lights to, to see what's going on. Um, essentially, um, it's like a panel at the bottom and it's not really helping. So now I've taken out the panel and it should be rendering uh, much better now because um, that was sort of blocking the diffuser. I've also made the note to make sure when you're having recessed light that it's not recessed above other elements. So I changed that to three and seven eighths. So it's not going into the roof. So next time we render, we should be seeing things come out uh, much better. Before hitting render again, we wanna look at the ability for this uh, first floor to also have a carpet. And I've uh, taken the liberty of also uh, linking that uh, that's in my folder, uh, my support folder. And because it's it's definitely um, very valuable to have. Uh, as I look here, um, my parametric rug, I can just locate that uh, in my components. So, and the way I've, I've edited it a little bit to, to work is this, I just wanna locate that just make sure it's it's getting to the dimension I want. So right now uh, I want to do about 11 foot 6 or 12 feet wide. And in fact 12 by 12 is fine for me. And all I need to do is just, just find the locate it properly in this center um, and just make sure that it's not past that edge. Now as we go to the bedroom render size the last thing, of course, is the set of material. So I'm just going to click on that carpet and we'll get a material. So now I'm setting the material for the carpet. Uh, I have here labeled as brown carpet and I'll just make it a little more brown. Um, but as you can see with the appearance, I got this from um, SketchUp Texture Club. It's a nice little little carpet to go down. And as you can see it in the model, it's nice. Uh, you know, see if I want to rotate that. To mask the grain I can. I thought it being a different color would be pretty nice. So we just go ahead and uh, render this scene out and see how it comes out as well as the fixed lighting. Um, and of course if you want to ever do a larger image you know just mind that you'll have to have credit for that. So I'm just fine to have a small image for now. And this is the final image we already have here. I've dusted the painting so you see a little more of it. Um, you can just, of course, do that in your image editor. We've added a nice carpet. You can see the shadow. And so this is a nice, um, nice set just to enjoy the, the bedroom, you know. Have our lights and our ceiling material. Um, you know, there's always different options you can do in terms of what's going on up in the ceiling or different elements. but in terms of adding a nice level of detail, this is a great render to show what's going on with the space. And I think it definitely will communicate the point uh, to your team or client. Just, this is a beautiful interior. This has been Brandon with I Am The Studio. Thanks for watching. If you got a lot out of this video, give the video a like, and subscribe to the I Am Studio channel. If you need help with your Revit projects, uh, see the links in the description for the complete Revit guide course, other Revit tutorials. Great way to improve your Revit skills to professional level. See you in the next tutorial.